Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a couple things to report. Uh, first, I'm going to report on a video that I watched a little bit ago about um, a solar storm that's been going on. I think all these things are connected, but um, you be the judge. Take the dream I'm going to share to the Lord if you want more about that. But anyway, I think it's very prophetic. I think they're tied together. Here, Here's the first thing was, okay, this video talking about this terrible bunch of storms that went on in, let's see, Tennessee, Missouri, Mississippi, not sure. We, we just missed it here in Alabama. It was above us and to the side of us, west of us, and really did some damage to some homes, tore bricks right off buildings, and there's a quarter million power outages right now and could be for several days. Okay, so I'm going to link that video in the description box. Now, I've just heard, been texting back and forth with one of my subscribers, and she's reporting that down in Miami, now we know it stays nice and warm down there, but she said yesterday it was up to 106 degrees. Today it's only 100, but it's still so hot nobody can breathe. So it's got to be more than just temperature. Whatever's in the air, they're having trouble breathing. She said it's really bad. So I told her I would report it because it's it, they just could be connected. I mean, when you have a solar storm way up in the atmosphere, you know, if it caused the storms around me, you know, north of me and west of me, which the guy in the video seemed to think, well, you listen to him and see how he posits the, the possibility they're related, you know, it's awful coincidental you know what I'm saying all right so now having reported that I'm going to report this dream all right it's from one of my subscribers who goes by the channel name of fantasy final all right I got this message eight hours ago and I didn't see it right away um but anyway she says, or he, I'm not, I think it's she, I'm not sure of your name, I'm so sorry. Um, she starts off calling it, or this person starts off calling it a vision, but then later they talk about waking up from the dream. So, I, you know, a lot of people call dreams from the Lord a night vision, but I prefer to just say dream, okay. So, this dream was given to me. Please share. I will as well. We need to warn as much as we can and as soon as possible. God bless, sister. All right. On May 28th, 2017. That's today, isn't it? At 4.40 a.m. There's that number. 44 is the number of judgment. They say, I was given a vision. It was based on God's judgment and his soon return. It started off with me being in a dimly lit room, and beside me was my guardian angel. I recall looking around, realizing the pitch darkness that surrounded us. The angel told me to go to my room. Although I had to cross a hall of darkness, I did as I was told. As I walked, I know y'all probably hate me always fixing my, my glasses. Are, I, I can't hardly read out of them anymore, so that's why I do this. Um, okay, she was with a guardian angel or this person. I recall looking around, realizing the pitch darkness that surrounded us. The angel told me to go to my room. 
Although I had to cross a hall of darkness, I did as I was told. As I walked in, I noticed that my laptop was on my bed, and it was on. Its light was my only light. I found that very interesting. I quickly drew near to the light and rested at its side. Boom! A small thunder sound. Yeah, she just put boom with no exclamation marks. A small thunder sound. I say she, I'm sorry if you're a guy. I, I, I don't mean to offend. A small thunder sound filled my ears to attention. I stood up and was now headed towards the window. Looking out, I saw buildings of many kinds, buildings of many kinds. I saw people in them living their normal lives. Looking up, I saw that the skies were gray and lightning bolts roamed the clouds. Rumbling sounds filled the air as the clouds churned. Straight ahead, I saw an open window with teens, teenagers, playing on the game consoles. Boom! She put exclamation mark with that. The skies roared in anger as if God himself was telling them, Pay attention! But sad to say, no one paid attention. I wanted a better view of what was going on, and as soon as I took two steps to my left, a balcony was now set in place. Boom! And they've got like five exclamation marks after it, all caps. A large thunderbolt struck the building where the teens were and the lights went out. I was shocked with fear as I looked. Now everyone paid attention. The bolt itself caused a flash that left me thinking. If that were to occur again, then darkness would hit the earth for good. To my right, rested on a window ledge, I saw a cat, and he was watching it all. Looking over my shoulder, I realized that the angel was now behind me, waiting. My eyes were drawn back to the skies, and I now began to hear people scream. I could hear kids crying, calling out to their parents. I could picture the people running, trying to escape. I could picture some kids finding a loved one while others could not. I could picture people being set on fire, yet couldn't tell why. I was not shown this in the dream, but I just knew it was happening. My gaze was now pulled to look up into the heavens. I saw giant balls of fire that filled the sky. They came down rapidly, and this is why people were on fire. They couldn't escape what was coming. It was too late. If they managed to escape one, then the next ball of flame would consume them. It was too great the amount. I said in my mind, Jesus is coming. And as soon as I thought it, the trumpets were blown. He's here, I said. The angel looked away and walked off. It was time to go. I turned my back to the window and in doing so followed the angel. Time had run out. And that's how they ended it. 
Well, if this is a warning from the Lord, um, and this happens before the rapture of the bride, which it sounds like it, there was a cat in her dream, there was children crying, fireballs were already falling, But she or he, this person, is safely in their room, protected by their angel. So notice that. If this is from God, um, and could very well be. I mean, it's very detailed. That's one way you know. When a person tends to say, well, I don't really know the first part or the last part, or, but this part, I, I remember distinctly this part. You know, I, I'm i like, eh, I'm not sure, you know. But when it's so detailed like this, I tend to believe it's from the Lord and it's a warning. People living their normal lives, yeah, he's going to take the power out and he's going to get their attention so apparently, it could happen, it could happen, just before we go. It's a possibility. I'm sharing this person's dream. You take it to the Lord and pray about it. But I, um, it's very feasible, I mean, it's that it could happen this way, even though he says, Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things. Well, if you're safely in your home, if you're safely somewhere, this stuff's not going to hurt you if you are uh, claiming the promises of Psalm 91. Surely he will deliver me from the snare of the fowler. That means from all this stuff stuff that's going to happen and right after it starts by the end of the dream it was time to go so I'm going to end it there and say um, maybe it's not long now and maybe you can share this with some people you know Do what you can. Water your seeds. All right. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well. All right. I'll say bye for now and I'll talk to you later.